This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the social medias here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ready to hang out with all of you tonight. Uh, and with me back on the show, it's been a few weeks. The Gutters is with us. Welcome back. I wish you would. I wish you would have seen my face when uh, you just started get geeky, and I was like, ah. <laughs> I, yeah, I you, looking I'm looking that. down and I'm like, oh no, it's running out. Where we gotta get going? Oh, I've got something on in the background that doesn't help. We had some problems here. Hey, it, it, so yeah, this is a late start, and we're not on Facebook. So, um, man, Vimeo has been weird lately, and I got I got some kind of weird state, and it only works for this show. So I forgot it was a problem from last week. So we're still not on Facebook, but um, you know, we'll figure that out before next week. Probably we'll see. It's a process, especially when the process like breaks down, and, and it's good practice. You know, that's what that's why we're so good when 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 uh things start falling apart around us because <laughs> we do this every week anyways uh let's get you. Oh, katie you you um you have been um out in the woods for several days and i'm i'm really curious did you take the swing and update all your os's on your devices oh, no. before you left <laughs> I was barely getting text messages of one dot, one bar of LTE. Mm -hmm. Uh, No, that was not happening. Did you? I, 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 I did something that I have not done in a while. I day one, my iPhone and my MacBook. So what? Yes, and and I'm a, I'm a big per- I I didn't update until to the last uh, Mac OS major update until maybe. April or May of this year. Mm-hmm. So to drop that straight now, so so understand, like as we've been detailing on this show the last couple of weeks, um, I I basically have a brand new computer because they re- they replaced the entire logic board, so I was starting from scratch. So I didn't have a lot of cruft in there, you know. I don't have a mm-hmm. parallels installation or anything, so I'm like, screw it, let's go. And, and and I have been relative, honestly, I think my phone is hanging less since it's updated OS. Um, my laptop, I'm loving. I talked a little bit about this phone mirroring features on the first day, uh, uh, last Tuesday. I actually have a little more that I've been actually using it pretty on the regular. And I can talk about this. I kind of want to put it on my Mac mini, but I know that's a bad idea because that is my production computer and my last ditch. If, uh, something goes weird with editing, um, kind of situation. So yeah, I just need to work on an editing project and make sure there's no weird hangups <laughs> somewhere along the line here on the new OS because that's been the issue because I've literally had an update to an OS and all the videos on Final Cut glitched for for months. You know, everything I brought off cameras glitched uh, for for no. an entire SAE season. So I had to import the MTS files, which do not do good on Macs, and pre-process everything, reprocess everything. It was such a pain. And if things found, fall, fell out of alignment with the proxy settings, I was, it's one of those you click a button and, and pinwheel for five minutes just because mm-hmm. it can't handle those files. For, it's something about the format, right? It's nothing about the power, it's the format. You know, of these MTS files. I, I don't get it. You have to plug it in and make it turn it into an MP4 or MOV or whatever it is. So anyways, that's my fear is going back to those days and getting stuck again so but it's well past the travel season well i don't know the travel season is all year now isn't it (laughs) yeah it doesn't stop can't stop won't stop yeah it breaks in there at least at least it's not all at once (laughs) like it used to be i I don't know i don't know depends on how you look at the schedule um so anyways uh have you had a chance to update since you got back no, I have not, but oh. I was very confused by my uh, FaceTime earlier because <laughs> I didn't update anything, but for the first time it was like doing the, I, oh gosh, I'm going to completely blanking out where it's it's showing, it'll use this to essentially show what's happening down here. So it's me and down here, and I can't remember what it's called, oh. but it was some weird app, and or not app, uh, whatever. So uh, basically you, you talk about the thing where it just brings up the camera on your phone instead of the one on your laptop? 
Uh, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I was like, stop trying to connect. And I was yelling at it a lot. That's kind of what my day <laughs> That seems gone. right. That seems right. That's like me for the three hours on chat with Disney and Verizon yesterday. That's for Patreon, maybe later. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> it is wild, Verizon. You got to get something together there. Um, uh, the short of it is Verizon was showing me an offer that it no, no longer um, existed and oh. that I was supposed to be on. And I was like, you got a detachment. But we'll, Patreon, I'll, I'll maybe get into it if we have time, if you if you want to hear about it. So anyway, so let's get into some positive things, some geeky things. Um, so uh, Katie, let's Katie, let's start. We haven't had a truly Dutter's pick for a while here. And I think you definitely need to full on, full on Dutter's this. I do not think I talked about this yet. <laughs> this is my three foot tall. Inflatable Hello Kitty skeleton. Three foot tall. It is adorable. So it is very adorable. Is that going out on the porch with the skeletons? Uh, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on audio, she just shifted her camera and it's right beside her. It's my friend. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, if you, if you would like to know the size, that's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are and... sitting on the floor next to it, correct? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So no, that'd be hilarious. I'm like standing. And <laughs> oh, I know, right? Um, so, so, mm-hmm. so, sitting does for scale. Uh, <laughs> you have to do the rest <laughs> of the show from that angle now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kitty, just chilling with me. It's going to yes, really confuse Kitty. the CapCut AI when I plug this in here. <laughs> I can't wait. But yeah, it's. My friend is from Lowe's. Mm. Um, I think she was just like it's thirty five bucks. Yeah, and um, which isn't. I mean, I like it. it. Seems quality. I haven't put her outside yet, but she's inside. <laughs> I'm betting it. A, on is it an inside cat or a outside cat? <laughs> outside cat. Currently, she's an inside cat. I fucking just, you know, it just like scooch her over like the whole show. Like, hey mm. guys, I need more light. There we go. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, let me just, light this. Let me get some more front lighting, some side light go. situation. There I don't even know. Go. Is that a purple light in, in there or is it a, I, no, can, I can't tell through the. It's white. Okay. It's it just is trying to okay. be purple. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know if the camera's messing with it or what there. That's, I'm just like, boop. It's got a little weight at the bottom. So look, okay. the wind's not going to knock it over. It comes with some ground stay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's test the durability of a kitty next to me. But yeah, not going anywhere. So this is nice. Um, decent length of cord. Took like two seconds to inflate. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> is it a self-inflating was, it was, deal or? Yeah, you just plug it in and it's like. Bleh. Oh, it's and, got like a little, um, like, I, I, I never set one up before, uh, too. So it's, it's it's basically like a bounce house situation. Yes. Oh, it's got some weight in the bottom. There's the weight. Yeah, it's got a little, like, she got a little. She even got a tail. Mm. Look, that's incredible. <laughs> Anatomically tail correct, I suppose. Ooh. There we go. Ta-da. <laughs> but yes, that is what it is. So, uh, inflatable Hello Kitty mm-hmm. uh, that I really like. And she will be going outside on the porch eventually. And uh, But right now she's in the house sitting next to me. Wonderful. Wonderful. You can get that at Lowe's. <laughs> it's a... Uh... Thirty-five dollars. We'll have the link. Yes. <laughs> well, worth it. I'm just gonna rest this show just that much of. No, no, I eat. love it. I, I love it. <laughs> well, the thing is, thing is, when we do the TikToks, it's gonna cut off, and we're like, why she got that weird glow on her side of her face? <laughs> ah, what's she doing? Yes. It's nice. It's my. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so I, I I finally get the show off something. So when Amanda Amanda and Steve were in uh, from San Diego uh, a few weeks ago, and, and I think she had told me about then, or maybe she had shared it on the Slack or something. Uh, something called Notch Nook. Now, now I don't have the new phone yet, although I just had to re- reset the payment today, because that, which means it should be shipping soon. Um, by the way, Missy has her phone. She picked hers up Friday. But my my since I got the high end one, but she got a pro, but I got a pro max with a terabyte. So I got to wait until like at least next Wednesday to have it shipped in. Um, but anyway, so so whatever. I got an update on my 13 and it's it's been kind of nice so far and everything. But I don't have the island because you, you've shown me the island on your phone where a lot of cool stuff kind of comes out from it and it interacts and things like that, right? So like a version of that, like I have the MacBook Pro and, and, and you do as well. So now uh, what we have over here, and there we go. We'll, we'll see what's going on with Hello Kitty. Now, if you move up to the top, and this is actually a little weird because I it's HDMI'd in. <laughs> so I don't actually see the physical nook anymore. 
um, you know, uh, on this. But uh, the idea is you pull up here where your nook is and it expands out to a whole um, system here. Now you got a little bit of a media player. You can put some shortcuts in here. You have a mirror uh, that will load in a second. That uses your camera. You can be like, I don't know, if you want to just check, your, check yourself out or something like that in this little window kind of situation at the top here. And then you can add a calendar and other things like that. You can throw a file tray on here. So just a general, just like a little something to, um, I don't know why that is cutting out when I hit tray. Uh, for some reason, it wasn't doing this before, maybe because I have things HDMI'd. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so it's a nice little like functional thing that pulls out of it. Um, you, it's from IO Cafe. Uh, you can do like a monthly subscription for this, but the lifetime is just $25. Honestly, I'd say just drop the $25. That feels like it's a lot simpler that way for something like this. Um, and, and, you know, support developers and stuff like that too. So it's got a lot of settings uh, so you can kind of play with the interactions and what kind of files and things that you get to put in there. Um, but I think that's pretty cool because you do get like that live activity. Oh, when you go to um, do media, let's go to, let's say, let's pull up our awesome cast and we're going to hit play on that. And if you see a drop down at the top there and you, you get, um, sometimes you'll get a player or video image in the left. Uh, like if I'm on YouTube and something with a thumbnail, uh, but on the right you do get um, you do have like the audio uh, kind of meter going. It can go up there and you have an immediate play and pause without having to pull anything up. And of course it'll pull up and and you can see Firefox browser, you know, Awesome Cast 704 live, and you can do and you have a little bit of play controls going on there. Now this does feel redundant because I know and I think have it here like we do have like kind of a player drop down in uh in mac os and have for a little bit um Ooh. but uh you know that that's part of mac os itself but and i believe it was on the last year's version as well because we have all the control center and everything but I, I i like this i don't know it's just a little it's really gimmicky let's be honest about this i don't know how truly functional it's going to be but it is nice to like you know you have to get used to it i did put it on my mac mini which is kind of stupid because there's no notch and now you've <laughs> created a notch to cover things up but it does not, you can actually set it so it recesses up in so it's not actually blocking anything on your upper bar. And, you know, I got a lot of, like, I got iStat menu and stuff, so it takes up a lot of space at the top, and that's always been a frustration with the MacBooks. Um, so that's been that, that's been an issue there. But, yeah, I just installed it, like, yesterday to see, like, oh, shoot, I can just put this on my Mac Mini. It will just drop out of the, the, the regular screen here, right? And, uh, yeah, it turns out. Yeah, it does. And, um, but although I, sometimes it's dropped down like it's its own, you know, why don't I just create this problem on every Mac computer I have? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, thank you, Amanda, um, Narcissi, for recommending that uh, over there. And uh, that's Notch Nook. And uh, you can, the Notch Nook IO Cafe is going to be what uh, you'll be looking up for that. And I'm trying to bring up the website now to give you a better, a better look at that. So, um, yeah, and like I said, three dollars a month sub if you want to do that, or twenty five dollars. It's not through; they have their own kind of payment system through here. Um, and there is a ooh, what's the get twenty five percent off? Ooh. You can get thirty five percent off, and oh, because you can share a coupon. There you go. I did not get the thirty five percent off, but that's okay. I want to support small developers, anyways. So you can check out Notch Nook. Do would you like the? Would you like a notch for your Nook? Notch for my nook. A nook for your, a nook I, for your notch. Uh, it was funny because I definitely had salad before this, and I was way up in my camera <laughs> looking at my teeth. So yeah, it would have came in handy. See, there you go. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't use your uh, iPhone camera as? I don't use it doing enough. To make sure it's not crap in my beard. <laughs> this is why I don't like to travel for business alone because I'm just afraid I'm going to go an entire plane trip with something in my beard, and I'm that, <laughs> and I'm that guy, right? So, like a small animal? Like a small animal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a small Hello Kitty. <laughs> it glows. That's three foot tall. <laughs> just just living in your beard. Just living small in baby. my beard. Small baby. What is little baby? Those baby hippopotamuses. Have you seen that one yet? <laughs> I've seen videos of it, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, little hippopotamus just chilling in your beard. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just think of the, there's like a there was I was watching some uh, hardcore matches and and they they use the most ridiculous items in these these ones that we film um, with our friends at 2PW and I just remember and I think this is a part of his gender reveal uh, match <laughs> that he had uh, but I just remember there being like 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 a little plastic babies for some reason instead of tacks um, that, that they they 
they dumped out of a bag like you would tax when you're doing a hard card match and stuff like that. So, anyways. Um, oh, yeah, now the Nook is in front of all my tabs, and I can't figure out how to get it off. <laughs> it's functional creates new problems listen it's gonna make your life interesting on the computer okay nothing nothing wrong with that so uh let's give a <laughs> shout out to our friends uh that do support this craziness patreon.com slash awesome cast so i didn't get the link out for the uh the patreon uh feed it was juggling with whatever uh, vimeo was doing um but uh, uh, thank you to our friends at Patreon uh, at the Coffee Club level, Cynthia Kloski, and our fans of the show, Michael Fedor, John DeGore, and Dave Potter, spouse of Ruth Julia Fair at RuthJuliaFair.com. You guys are supporting the show, helping keep the server running, and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, of course, um, maybe I'll just complain about Verizon uh, customer service here afterwards. Actually, no, I, it, the negative and the positive with it. It's not all bad. It turned out okay. Uh, but anyways, just a lot of time to do it. Oh, Katie, let's go with some of your things here, or do you <laughs> actually no? Can we talk about what you discovered uh, while we were on our last trip? About you know we've been doing a lot of social media and TikToks and YouTube Shorts, and you started noticing something about our YouTube Shorts that I started bringing up and putting in social media. <laughs> can you talk about your discovery here, and I'll see if I can pull up some examples. YouTube Shorts will uh, pick what it deems the most interesting um, cover image. It's going to like the little thumbnail for your image. And sometimes that thumbnail will have words on it because of the captioning. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily what you would pick for the thumbnail. It is what uh, YouTube has determined would perform well on that. Uh, so we had some very interesting captions where it would just pick up random words. Like it's sticky. <laughs> With the best facial expression. <laughs> Us knows about this guy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I follow wrestlers. Ha, ha. And, and of course, these are like mid conversation expressions if you're on audio. Here's just Dave Potter looking, looking square in the camera. Blockchain, all right. <laughs> And then Ponder, I have a palate cleanser. <laughs> American lawnmower with Ponder. Yes, yes, there you go. Mm -hmm. I, so, I mean, you know, it, 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 I listened to all my podcasts, and it's it's when Ponder <laughs> was in, in, in studio and was so colorfully dressed. Um, there's just me saying like in a, in a, in a hotel room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Being mysteriously canceled, he says. Um, yeah, so this there's now so we your idea was like let's just drop these on social media. Yes. Uh-huh. And also I, I don't that's... know I, I don't know I I don't know how much people see the thumbnails. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I guess like I, I, I say that and then I immediately answer my question because like, oh no, you scroll through and you see a few thumbnails there. But like I feel like on TikTok, everybody's like, "Oh, you gotta have a good thumbnail." It's just like, who's going to your profile? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know that that. Ha I feel like the the general function is you're flipping through to the next video, whatever that may be. I could be wrong about that. You, you of course work a little more closely in the uh, 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 audience side of this, I suppose, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which one are we doing here? I'm just like looking through all of them now. There is one where Podner just looks like he's taking a nap, and there's one of Chilla's face that just says, "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That goes with that Best Buy video. I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That generated one from like 15 years ago. Oh, that was um, so fun, man. Uh, so, so that was kind of a fun discovery, and we're we're going to play with that a little bit more. I, 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 and I don't think I can change them necessarily easily when we do shorts on YouTube, and I'm always concerned because I, 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 I don't care what it happens when if I'm looking g goofy with my highs half open and my nose up you know whatever you know kind of thing but i always feel bad when like you or chilla or podner have like the worst like i mean that one that the the the, the sticky the sticky one is the although that is, that is a great youtube face honestly yep. like that is mm -hmm. that is probably gonna get that probably got got clicks just because of that thumbnail <laughs> Oh, a hundred percent. I should just like, you know, I, I should cut that image out and slap it on any video that has you on it as your representative <laughs> idea there. So 
Um, so that was fun. So, oh my gosh! So watch. I'm your... laughing at the, mm-hmm. the one that's uh, your recent uh, top video is, or one of your most recent shorts is from the Baja, Michigan, I say Michigan, and it's just like half of my body, me posing dirt, and it says there is a lot of cool. <laughs> God has 434 views. <laughs> I see it here. I see it here. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is the kind of thing we're dealing with. Um, <laughs> We did, and the next one bite is we did find the jousting. So yes, we did find the jousting. We did, we did, fi- we definitely did find the jousting. So, so, so having fun with that uh, side of things. Uh, Katie, you have a couple stories here. Uh, Ooh, uh, tell I- me about the Google Doodle. You were playing with this a little bit before the show. Yes, the Google Doodle. So the Google Doodle is a uh, popcorn, and it's a fun game uh, because who doesn't love popcorn? And essentially. Um, you will uh you're trying to compete against everyone uh who um is playing around the world and you just try to not become popcorn you're little kernels of corn and you try to move about the screen i like the music i don't know if you can hear the music but it's like very like yeah i don't really have a piped in right now oh it's great it's like compete against 59 players and then you have to use your little keyboard and you go oh, la, oh, la, 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 la. Skip that. screw it I'll, I'll just i'll just skip the tutorial I'm going to go solo yeah, go in this in. thing. I'm going to be whatever that one is. I'm finding my players. Okay. Pick my look. Oh, I'm finding people around the globe. I did mm. find squad. Oh, no. What's happening? Uh-oh. I'm solo. What's happening? Oh, me too. I'm in butter sound. This is perfect oh, no. for the Instagram, though. Okay, I'm in my keyboard. Ah! And then what do I do? I don't know. You just use your little uh, arrows. Or I'm trying to use my arrows. Avoid. Why are my arrows not working? I don't know, but I'm trying to avoid the butter. Ah! I can't move. Mad. I can't move. I can't move. No. Turns out it's no, not. It's butter. There's butter balls being launched. At us. <laughs> There's That's definitely what's butter balls being launched to me. Oh no! It does not like my keyboard input for some. Oh reason. no! I just ran right into the oh. butter. Oh, it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> Butter's good for you. Oh yeah, it's moving now. I had to do that click. Look off at the thing. butter getting tossed. Okay. The butter. Ah! So many butter balls. Is... Oh, I became popcorn. Is... You popped. Is butter good? Oh no, I got popped. You pop. You pop. Play again. That's fun. I love when they have full games like this in. Uh, there's an arc. Isn't there an archive of past Google Doodles where you can go in and get the games and, and stuff like that? Yes, you can. Uh, if you actually Google Google Doodle, um, I was up to it and what is it? It's Google.com/slash Doodles or Doodles dot Doodles dot Google's Google Doodles dot Google. I can almost talk. Oh, um, that's terrible. <laughs> Uh, so you can pick up doodles from around the world, mm-hmm. uh, you know, wherever, when is your birthday? So you can find out which doodle was on your birthday. Let's oh, see nice. What was on your- Let's see what was on, uh, what were we celebrating on March 25th? There we go. This okay. is nice. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I didn't realize there was a whole little area to mm. play with other ones. Uh, library. You can look stuff up. You can play. You can uh, explore the uh, the interactive doodles as well. You got the popcorn one in there. The Paris games, Valentine's Day. Um, what if they had the old? Remember when Pac Man took over? Like they they Pac Man the Google. Yes. And, oh gosh! And then just um, the you can learn how to create a doodle. Hmm. How are doodles made? Here's the idea: assembling the team, research concepts testing lunch time and then you can meet their guest artists nice nice it could be you so i guess i guess they kind of open this up as i mean i always figure this is one of those 10 percent projects or something like that but i guess i mean that's kind of cool that they kind of open that up but they're doing it so such at scale you know that makes sense it feels like there is almost a google every day isn't there Mm -hmm. the first doodle launched as an out of office message of sorts when company founders larry and sergey went on vacation it was 1998 when the first one launched. They went on vacation and it was like, this is, wait, 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 wait. So did they have a picture of it? What they did? No, it's just like little cards. Well, let me see. Let me see if I click on it. Cause there's like, if you scroll down the screen on the learning how it's made, it has the story of the doodles. Oh, there's the first doodle. It's a burning man festival doodle. Mm, that makes a lot of sense. We've created more than 5,000 doodles over the decade. Take a trip down Mary. 
over the decades. Blah. Take a trip down memory lanes below. Really below. That's very oh, cool. Look at right? that Google. I found a WNBA season begins 2024. I like I like the art on that one. How long does it take to make a doodle? You tell me. Some take years. Some just take a few hours. <laughs> Yeah, you can of, email doodleproposals at google.com with ideas. Nice. Mm-hmm. Google doodles. I mean, that's one thing that, that that's that's one of the nice things. It's one of those like humanizing things for Google. You know, it's been fun and everything like that. And I think that's what we kind of uh, uh, lost in recent years with them a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. What was that? I mean, uh, remember April Fool's used to be a lot of fun for them? <laughs> and now, oh now it's also eye roll because I think everybody's trying to trying to out Google Google at a certain point. Yes. And we're all just angry the whole mm-hmm. day because mm-hmm. it really has to be a good, <laughs> it's like, Oh my God, come on. The news is useless today. Like don't read any website. Don't believe anything. Just move on kind of situation. But yeah, it is what it is. They kind of did it to themselves, I suppose. Uh, so, all right. Um, what else got, we have a complaint. <laughs> Oh, no. I kind of complete this weekend that if Chachi says, if I ever put a video that's just talking about a calculator in his feed ever again, he's going to be so mad. Hmm. <laughs> we talked about the new calculator in iOS 18, and I think I put out like two videos for it. <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, I, and it's not even like a, um, and I love, I, I, it even, to make it even worse, Dave had apparently uh, gone, I'll wait for the, Andro- I'll give the Android people a moment to complain and moved on. <laughs> so, of course, Chachi took it personally. Um, so, I was, I was just wanted to share that a little bit. Sorry, Chachi. He doesn't listen to the show, but maybe this will be a clip that I'll tag him in. Uh, so, um, yeah. But I, on that note, one thing I've noticed, um, and I'm not entirely sure what all goes into it. RCS has been enabled on iOS 18. And uh, we all know that our Android friends, like, I feel so bad because he's my only regular Android friend. And he's definitely been excluded from conversations because of what it does to the messages. Because we, we share yeah. a lot of media, of course. And it's like, eh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So he sent me a picture of Japan today because there's something about he knows what Japan's about. And then keep, keeps telling me he needs to be on a podcast to talk about uh, uh he, he was, he's an expert because he knows what he's seen a map of Japan. I don't know what this is. I don't uh, I'm just going along with the bit right now. But he <laughs> sent me the image and I was really impressed on how fine quality it was because I was like, oh, this is something that SMS is going to kill usually, right? Um, mm-hmm. so so if you've updated iOS 18, give your Android friends, give your green, bu- green bubble friends another chance. And see if, uh, you know, see if, see if we got to check that group and see if it's uh, like, okay, Katie, we're in a group with it, with, with our, our friend on Android. Let's just send a lot of media his way and see if it all looks like crud. <laughs> mm. so. Including a selfie with me and a Hello Kitty. There you go. There you go. And we're like, hey, we're testing RCS. Let us know how this looks, Chachi. There you go. <laughs> She's literally doing it right now. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take another selfie, which with uh, with you in the background, and oh. uh, and my and my Dunkin' Donuts cup, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and do this. No, nope, wait. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to send that to him. And do do do, and do 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 do. Just testing RCS. <laughs> I'm just sending a photo. No problem. I hope this applies to the group. I'll send them around. Testing video. RCS. So this one says text message RCS when I'm on him. And I'm when I'm in the group, it says text message. Oh, you guys aren't all updated yet because you're still on 17. So the group's not going to help. Yeah. Okay. Well, then whatever. Well, we'll retest in a couple of days after you've done that. <laughs> so. Remind me. You know I'm terrible at updating anything technology. <laughs> yeah, I'll set a reminder. Not be a That's what we'll do. With we have a work session coming up. You're like, okay, now you're going to update your phone in a safe place. <laughs> so, and not You're no fun. Not in, <laughs> listen, as somebody who was taking Lyft everywhere on one of his early trips and his phone decided to take a take a... You know, I had to reinstall the phone from scratch sitting in my <laughs> Airbnb in San Diego and literally couldn't go anything. I was so scared um, and then had to reinstall all the apps over, I don't know, 3G at the time. <laughs> like, 
it gets scary out there. This is why I always try to have a, a secondary device as much as possible or a modem or something uh, in case, mm-hmm. in, just in case. Because it's like if you're relying on the phone and something happens to the phone, what are you going to do? You know, like I can't call Uber. <laughs> so, but anyways. Um, uh, Chachi said, welcome. What do you say? Welcome to uh, present day. To the present day. So clear. Present day. <laughs> But not not quite yet, not quite yet. But we're almost. We're getting there. there. We're getting there. We're almost there. We'll get you out there. But Missy's got her new phone. I got the OS at least, and we'll just get you. Up. We'll get you upgraded in the next couple of days. I'm sure. I'm sure things will slow down for you sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. I know. I know. I know. <sighs> Anyways, uh, you got one more uh, link in here, Katie. What's this about? Sure, I like talking. Uh, so a female venture capitalist uh, was teaching kids about startups and women in tech with a new book. It's Lena Mo, CEO. And essentially what, what this mother was trying to do was she was trying to explain to her kids what you do. What do you do as a venture capitalist? And your kids are like, what do you do? And you're like, I don't know how to explain this. So she thought she was being slick and she had gave kids the chia pet seeds and was like trying to show them that how seeds can grow into something amazing. Mm. She thought it was great. They did not. (laughs) Um, And, uh, but yeah, so it was (laughs) the, they, she decided to create something to explain more of the process of like what it takes to found a startup, Mm. but wanted to be engaging for kids. And so this is where the first book came about. And the kiddo in the book, she is, um, builds a robot to plow snow but uh she's like i can't build a bunch and her neighbors are all begging to do it Mm -hmm. but they're like oh we'll give you money and so they're all investing and then she gets to create a team advertises the robot on the local news and becomes ceo so i thought it was very cute nice (laughs) i I mean that's kind of what we need right now something to um Mm -hmm. you know uh, talking more about entrepreneurship right in in in, in the school age because Man, all they all they talked about for my school was to go to Votech, and I was like, I don't think I want to do that, <laughs> you know, um, you know, in, in in you know versus like school or, or versus college or something like that, and uh, but uh, but yeah, no, I, I think that that's awesome. So, uh, is this um, so this is Simon Schuster putting this out too? So awesome. Yeah, def- like definitely it. needs a bit be a bit more of this. Yes. But yeah, so she's thinking about expanding the whole universe around mm-hmm. this little girl. I love it. <laughs> we had somebody, a local Pittsburgh um, writer, who who was doing the one about travel. Um, I can mm. it, it escapes the name. It, we we talked about it with her on uh, Fishing Without Bait, I believe. Um, oh, so, cool. but yeah, one of those one of those kinds of guys. Yeah, that could be a nice series too. <laughs> Lena, what was her what was her name again? Uh, Lena, Lena Mo goes on Shark Tank could be the next one. <laughs> Lena Mo goes on. Perfect. <laughs> you know, you can you can do the entire process. Um, you know, Lena Mo gets her first round of funding. Uh, <laughs> Lena, <laughs> Lena Mo Continue said something on. something terrible on TikTok or on Twitter. You know, go just the whole process, the whole the whole. You know, we got to see where all all roads lead. You know what I mean? You know, teachable mm-hmm. moments, if you will. So actually, you know, that's what I want to see because there's all this uh, hubbub lately about kids in schools having, I have no dog in this fight, obviously, uh, but, you know, kids in schools, whether they should have cell phones, be on social media, the the supposed, you know, social media mental health, health crisis and things like this. Like, I, I love to see more tools like this also for handling how to be online, you know, like things to, like, you know, there is a lot of, like, it, it is kind of an evolution of stranger danger, isn't it? Right. Mm-hmm. You know, to be online, be in a chat room, you don't know who's on the other end on top of dealing with, Hey, this is what it's, you know, being on Instagram does not mean this, you know, all you, know, everybody else is not prettier than you because they're on here. Everybody else is, you know, it's a whole, th- it's, it's all, <laughs> you know, as fake as TV, I suppose. Right. Um, like, like those, those are the kinds of things I'd like to see more of for sure. You know, whether it'll be these book series or anything like that, something that's easily digestible. I don't know if it's being handled on like Saturday, yeah, Saturday morning cartoons. Like that's a thing right now. <laughs> uh, you, you know what I mean though? Like, you know, they, they usually have like the more educational ones earlier in the day and stuff like that. Like, is that going to be, is Sesame Street handling this? They're usually the most progressive on, on handling topics. 
uh, oh, seriously. Uh, years, right? I, I miss, we could, we could so use a Mr. Rogers right now <laughs> on so many levels. Yes. Oh my gosh. That would be incredible. <laughs> To be kind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like like the, that messaging, you know, I think it was a big, big, I mean, that was a big linchpin to a lot of us growing up. Um, and and I, I, I would love that figure to tackle today's problems because it's wild when you look back and, you know, I think we've, we've all seen the documentary here and, and or the Tom Hanks movie and stuff like that. Like he handled like, I think during like Vietnam and stuff like that, right? And mm-hmm. like, like hard topics, you know. Um, so I, I'd like to see, you know, kind of what that would look like in 2024. You know, I guess we have Daniel Tiger, but I, I not, I am not an avid watcher of Daniel Tiger, <laughs> but I, I imagine, you know, it's more of a cartoon. I don't know how deep they're going down some of these topics or if they're being a little more, you know, surface on a, on it or anything like that. So, but anyways, so I would discovered, actually, I discovered this from our intern today, Katie. Ooh. I think I heard about this years ago because um, a lot of people are asking, you know, we work with a lot of people that, that don't, you know, I don't want to drop 50 bucks a month to be able to do Premiere or $300 on Final Cut or anything like that or who knows how much Avid is these days or anything like that. Like this is just not like accessible uh, for a lot of people. And, um, you know, obviously there's a cap cut is free or, or a low pay uh kind of situation or something like that um so so, so there are options adobe rush is kind of a cheaper i think ten dollar a month um uh thing still but uh you know again that does it still doesn't always fit for everybody so i i was kind of i was i this this was brought up because we were talking about just different editors and things like that for one reason or another and this is one that i think i remember this as part of when uh remember when i do you remember when Linux Ubuntu became like a like actually kind of like user friendly kind of and it was like oh we can throw this on old PCs and that's a whole thing? I, I think yeah. this this may have been part of the package. So this is an app an app, an app program called KDN Live. Um, I think it was originally a Linux based editor, and if you look at it, it looks a lot like Adobe Premiere. And, and I am a big proponent of if you understand the basics of a video, a, uh, a non liter editor, a video editor program, you could translate that to a lot of different editors. This one seems to relate a lot to Premiere, um, you know, and, and it is basically for every, seems to be for every platform. Of course, Linux, Windows, uh, they even have an Apple Silicon version of this. And actually, I did install it to kind of poke around with it to see how usable it may be. And uh, load it, just threw in some videos that were sitting on my computer. It had a little bit of uh, wrestling shows and th- things like that. But yeah, it does seem like mostly a full service. Of course, you get you get hard into the editing. Eventually, you're probably going to kind of discover... Um, you know, limitations and things like that. But it's got the layered editing. It's got, uh, you know, pretty decent format in there. Um, you can you can put your notes in speech editor. You can drop a component in there and stuff like that. So it, it seems very, very well featured. And again, you know, presumably you could kind of carry your projects over. So if you're looking for something like, you know, I always kind of consider like what's going to happen if I need like a bunch of people to kind of edit on the same project. You know, you need to find something common. I've been looking at DaVinci Resolve and there is a free version of it, but I don't know at what point you would need to start paying for it for features, right? Um, Mm -hmm. So this might be a nice um, alternative to that. They take donations on the website if you are using it. um, Definitely please support them if you are uh, using this program. Um, But but I I think for anybody that's like, oh no, I need to edit a video, it is not easy. I'll put that right off the bat. This is a, it's a professional grade NLE looking um, uh, video editor. Uh, so so take that with a grain of salt. But if you want to kind of push to the next level, um, you know, then, you know, I think this is worthwhile. Uh, so again, that's uh, K, KDN Live, KDEN Live basically. And the website for that is uh, KDN Live dot org and you can go check it out from there so um katie i I say you're you're usually doing some light editing like you're probably like still on the iMovie mode or something right no cap cut cap cut that's right jeez i'm an idiot uh (laughs) of course no No, iMovie is just 
a, a, a clunky. I think we've all sometimes. moved on from iMovie by now, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, like, I wish it wasn't so. Yeah. It's just, it's, I, I don't know. I still don't feel it that it's intuitive, at least for the way I work. I don't no, know. No. Totally I, I, I think it's literally for if you're starting from scratch, you know, like there was always that argument with Final Cut. Like, you, hey, you can figure out Final Cut if you start with iMovie because it uses such a wildly different mode, right? So, mm-hmm. but, um, but no, I, I think bringing people into this and then it's going to make you more flexible. And, you know, if you're continuing with video editing or want to up, up the game or do, do, do things a little more interesting. So, um, if you find you're hitting the head on CapCut, but, but man, CapCut seems to do a lot. <laughs> it does a lot for you too, right? Um, mm-hmm. But but if you're looking to get a little more into it, listen, I I always talk about there's a certain AEW wrestler that edited all his videos in, in Adobe After Effects, which is crazy to me, which is absolutely crazy to me. But um, man, did he suffer for his art, uh, but, uh, but it worked out really well for him. So now I can definitely afford that Adobe after effects subscription. And, and that's, no, I'm not going to go on that rant again. Well, you know, yeah, this guy went and got after effects and then people won't pay $5 for an app on the phone to make their videos, make that thing go away in the corner. Yeah. Come on, mm-hmm. invest in yourself. But that's for a different thing. Oh uh, man. Um, I, I dropped another article in there for you. Okay. It is a how to watch Meta Connect 2024, how to watch the metaverse and generative AI event. This is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Oh, boy. Oh, we're, generative we're, AI event. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, it's going to focus on Meta's XR, VR, and AR platforms, metaverse, and Facebook parents' open source generative, gen, generative AI platform, Llama some new hardware so hilarious to me um yeah Llama. meta is another one that's kind of force feeding you uh, ai right now isn't it because their search is mm-hmm. now ai which is not helpful when uh. you're just looking for a page Mm-mm. especially when you're in a hurry and you don't realize that that's what it's searching mm-hmm. i'm like just mm-hmm. no i don't here's more like the the day we was trying to figure out more about the uh michigan uh Ren Fair, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I'm going to find the page, and instead it's like the Michigan Ren Fair started in bloop, bloop, bloop. and I'm like, I didn't want that information. I wanted <laughs> well, that was you. Page. I was trying to figure out if it was you or Missy that was just like, no meta AI, I don't want you right now. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it, I, mm. and, 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 I, and I'm curious about that because it's, I can't imagine them, because their model is not to have you pay for anything with Facebook, right? Like, mm-hmm. there's, there's hardly anything other than buying meta hardware. Um, mm-hmm. that, that they actually do charge you for that I'm aware of other than ads. Um, so I think this is going to be a thing that's going to just become part of your Facebook experience and Instagram experience. I mean, it's already in the chat, right? Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, versus like LinkedIn wants to give me a trial and I have to go premium if I want to rewrite this post in AI or um, I, I don't know, Google keeps going back and forth, it seems, on my account on whether it wants to give me like a trial to Gemini AI on there, um, you know, to, to, to help with my emails on my workspace account or something. So it's, it's really interesting that. And then ChatGPT, like, I don't know, the app isn't working too great the last couple of days. I keep losing my uh, my sessions. <laughs> No. I, I wonder if my sessions are getting too long because I'll have one with the prompts that I want for uh, the TikTok videos and then um, keep dropping new scripts in it. And I wonder if I put too much in some of these um, in some of these uh, sessions and that's why it's going <laughs> crazy. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just been really funky the last few days. And, I'm, and I don't know that like sometimes it doesn't connect to the server, but I know they get busy, but sometimes it works on the website. So I don't know how to parse that, I guess. <laughs> so, I mean, I, then you're using chat GPT as well, right? Yeah, mostly. That's yeah. what I'm spending the most time with. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're spending time together. Yeah. The only to know, thing I like about, oh, I was going to say, the only thing I like about other. Facebook say, oh yeah. Facebook's AI with their um, comments and posts, mm-hmm. or I think it's just posts right now, where underneath it will be like help with grammar, uh, sound more formal. Um, I don't know if you've seen that pop up on the desktop yet. I have not that might seen be the that. only so, application I'm all in on. <laughs> so that that's on the desktop version? Mm-hmm. Let me see what I can do here. Uh, oh, do the things. Doing Facebook. The- the awesome cast right now 
Come join. Ooh, I wonder if it's in groups or on pages because I don't see it. Is that what it is? Because I'm on my personal and I'm not really seeing it right now. Ooh, let me see if it's on a page. Switch now that, to a that page. That makes sense that they would roll out to the business people. And maybe they will. Maybe that'll be, it'll be like a, a business suite upgrade or something like that, right? That would probably help with the scalability. Mm-hmm. La, 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 la. Nope, I don't have a clue. Saw it earlier. Never going <laughs> to find it again. Also, it's inconsistent. Uh, you know? <laughs> it's absolutely it inconsistent. Um, so, I, I don't know. It's... um. It, it's you're gonna you're gonna get it whether you like it or not, and you're gonna have to deal with it. You know, I mean that's why it's one of the reasons I've kind of rolled over the DuckDuckGo because like Google was kind of bothering me with it, and and now I reset everything, so now I have Google everywhere again. So, um, you know, it's one of those deals. It's one of those deals. So, um, no, but. no clue. Saw it earlier. Don't know where it's at now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never find it again. Absolutely. So, um, anyways, uh, Katie, at that at, at that note, I think we've run through our talking points for this week. Um, <laughs> what? No more talky talking. So now more it's Hello all Kitty. Hello Kitty, Kitty. <laughs> so we did start really late since I've had tech problems. There it is. There it is. There's the blow up Hello Kitty. <laughs> that that is great. Then that, that should just it will never go outside. It's just going to accompany you in your uh, in your office, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep, pretty much. Mm-hmm. You're just, oh, I should do that for my call tomorrow. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Not tell anybody and it's just there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Is that, la, la, that's la, your that's your right. weekly catch up call too, isn't it? Uh huh. Uh huh. It's not. I do gonna, have extra office chairs that my cats sit in. I'm sure. They be I'm full. sure it's not going to be the weirdest thing that they've ever seen from your calls. So, Mm-mm. Nope. All right. Nope. Uh, KatieDudas dot com. Mm-hmm. Sure. Is, Stop there. <laughs> uh, is it where you can find out what you're up to? Interneting. Yes. Yes. Where where you where you're at and things like that. Um. And social and 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 follow you on the social medias for your travels and your craziness. Uh. Whenever yep. you do post up there. So there you go. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, at Sorgatron on the social media is myself all over the place. Um, I did post, uh, uh, some more stuff from, uh, kid mentals, um, videos. My mom showed up at the Zypher last week. Oh, kid mentals having the, awesome. the, 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 uh, jam session and uh, Isaiah small came in and was doing some really fun stuff. So I, like set up a whole piano thing and percussion kind of thing over here. And, and they jammed for a good, like two or three hours. It was, it was amazing. The stream is up. Uh, I think we did stream it here on the uh, Facebook for awesome cast. Uh, and, uh, it's over on the Sorgatron media feeds as well. If you want to go back and check that out, it was a lot of fun to uh, see everybody jam. But then my mom shows up and my mom has, she does, uh, you know, bells and percussion for church. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that was uh, that was a pretty fun thing uh, to see happen there. So, um, but yeah, uh, so go check that out. Uh, we will have another date up here soon. And again, if anybody want to come in, um, uh, Mana Gaming and and uh, uh, Mana Foods um, c- catering um, were were really awesome. And you know, so you can come play video games, watch the jam session, things like that. When we do these nights, uh, so we should be doing another one here in October. And stay tuned for all of that. Uh, and also Kid Benelga was interviewed over on the Fishing Without Bait podcast. Uh, part two of three came out today. So check that out too. So, all right. Awesome. Um, Katie, do you want to hear my, my Verizon <laughs> issues on, on Patreon? Is that our tease? Sure. All right. Sure. I want to tell you why Let's Disney Disney is amazing. Customer service, turns out. Verizon Great when you get to somebody that can actually do something, but that's the problem. We'll find out more on that on the uh, Patreon uh, there at patreon.com slash awesomecast. In the meantime, thank you guys, everybody. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron. 
I'm Eamon. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like it discussed from an LGBTQ lens? If so, a gay and his NB is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to a gay and his NB on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts.